Hi, my name's Kyle O'Neill, a uh, better known as Mouse O'Neill. Um, I live in Alexandria with my wife and three kids. We're, I will, was a shearer, uh, a shearing contractor, um, and a WOMO life trainer. I've been in the shearing industry for over 30 years. I first started off as a wool handler in Central Otago, moved on to a bit of pressing, and finally um, learned how to shear. So I've been um, in the game for a little bit. I uh, thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, my family have uh, all been involved in the industry. My mum and dad both worked in the industry. Dad was a shearer, uh, mainly on fine wool. Uh, mum was a very good wool handler. I have four other brothers that all shear uh, and a sister that does a little bit of wool handling as well. So. Um, it's, it's always been in our whānau, the industry, so um, we have a lot of experience to pull on. Uh, my biggest achievement to date would be um, sharing alongside my four other brothers um, at Ernst Clue Station. Um, that was a pretty big, um, big buzz for me. Uh, to, to share to share alongside those boys it was um, it was incredible and to have our parents come out and watch us do a day was um, it was pretty mean for me so yeah that's that's where I'm at at the moment uh, so I've competed in a few competitions throughout New Zealand uh, my biggest achievement for me personally was first making the final at Alexandra on the um, fine wall there 2010 uh, to share alongside um, Another brother in the final and a good mate Stretty was uh, was one of my biggest uh, kicks uh, in the sharing industry. Um, to make the New Zealand team out of that event was pretty special too to me. Uh, so I've been pretty lucky. Uh, I'd like to make another couple if I possibly can. Uh, I love the sharing industry. Um, the satisfaction you get when you do a hard day's work, um, it feels pretty good. Um, the achievements we uh, make along the way, um, i.e. records, uh, competitions, sharing personal bests, uh, working with some really good people. Uh, and, and just when you take a sweat towel to work, you know you're going to work. So um, doing that is a big thing, you know. Um, and not everyone can get out and share a sheep or wool handle for eight hours or press. 50 bars for a day, so it's um, it's a special skill and talent, I feel. Sharing can take you all over the world as well, so you know you can get into some pretty awesome spots. Um, financially, it's a, it's a great way of making good, honest money. Uh, saving a lot of it would help. Um, and just getting out and, and getting amongst, you know, the rural community, meeting some awesome farmers along the way. I'm involved in the WOMO Life Training setup because I believe that it's a great product. Uh, what they offer, online stuff, um, your move wise, eat wise um, stuff in there is just, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic opportunity for people to learn everything there is to know about the sharing industry and wool handling. So, um, and, and I'm just really excited about being involved. The knowledge that we don't share isn't knowledge, is it? So um, that's my big thing in being involved in WOMO Life, uh, to help to help as much as I can around the, um, around the industry. I love the training because you see people involved in front of you. Um, and to me, that's something real special because I've seen a lot of people come and go in the game and to watch them just learn and pick up wee things as you're watching them is just incredible and it's a real kick for me to see from young people that have never touched a handpiece before leading up to the very advanced people um, and that's my kick out of it um, and it's something that I can give back to an industry that has really looked after me all the way through. Uh, the WOMO Life Training is very different to a lot of other um, training providers that have gone before it. Uh, for me, one thing is the sharing pattern isn't um, structured around blow placement. Everything's got to be done 
the same. Um, as we are, as trainers, we're all different shapes and sizes. So we have different techniques to get around an animal. Um, that's, that's one big thing I like about the um, training course. Another thing is your movement, your food, nutrition, everything like that. It's just a, a massive, um, a massive tick for me because nothing else is done like that. Um, as a trainer, I've learned so much just from watching this online stuff. It's just incredible. Um, and a great bunch of trainers. Like there's some really brilliant people, wool handlers, presses and shearers that um, have got a wealth of knowledge. Um, so I reckon it's just great and honour to be a part of um, my, my life. If there was a trainee that was keen to jump on board and do a course, um, I would really encourage them to do it. Um, go on with an open mind, because um, you will learn a lot more with an open mind than being just tunneled vision on, on what you do at work. Uh, and just, just really soak it up, be a sponge and just soak everything up. Uh, you'll be totally amazed. Uh, my big hopes for the wool industry is that um, our wool product um, is utilised a bit more than it is, I feel. Um, you know, like yeah, the product is a natural fibre. Um, you know, there's so many reasons why we should be using woolen product. Um, I'd like to see that really um, be pushed to the forefront um, in the future because uh, it's massive, it's a massive product. Um, and, and I just want the industry to carry on and, and just for everyone to upskill themselves and be better people, really. Fun fact about me um, was playing against the New Zealand secondary schools in rugby, standing the first five and having Jonah Lomu run over top of me. So I know how Mike Cat feels, he just hit me with those big legs and I just bounced about 10 metres. So um, that was a very terrifying experience. And another one, um, hair's overrated. Um, we spend most of our life cutting the stuff off, so you know, yeah, too overrated I reckon. <laughs>